Yeah, really, guys, just a brief one. Today, we'll be talking about the sinus of Morgagni. Okay? Sinus of Morgagni, we'll be talking about the location and the structures that pass through this sinus to make it um, important um, and worth a study. Okay, now in the question in food, they say that um, name the structures that pass in the gap between the superior constrictor of the pharynx and base of skull. And um, the gap in between the superior constrictor of the pharynx and base of the skull, um, this gap is called the sinus or morgagni, okay? Now, um, just an overview, we say that in the pharynx, um, the sinus or morgagni is the enclosed space now, in between the upper border of the superior pharyngeal constrictor muscle and the base of the skull, okay, and the pharyngeal aponeurosis, stuff like that. Now, um, this is the uh, uh, sinus of Morgagni, and uh, these are the structures that pass through here, um, but let's see what we have in our lecture, just the way it is. Now, first of all, uh, the auditory tube passed there, and um, this is the auditory tube. And we have the levator um, um, palati muscle, okay? Um, levator palati muscle, okay? Then we have the palatine branch of the ascending pharyngeal artery, okay? Palatine branch of the ascending pharyngeal artery, okay? Uh, this is the irritation tube. Um, Yep, um, this is the superior constrictor muscle that we are talking about, and it's the base of the skull. Then in between here, uh, that's the sinus of Morgagni. Okay, so um, these are the um, it's actually first um structures. Uh, we have the tensor and veli palatinum muscle too that pass through the sinus of Morgagni. Okay, so you could just develop a memory aid for yourself quickly. Um, I don't think it has um. Anatomy, applied anatomy though, um, the importance is just attached to the structures that pass through this um, space, okay? So see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now.